Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Minecraft Redstone tutorial series. If you want to follow the whole series, the link to the playlist is in the description of the video. But today we are cracking on and looking out with more outputs, so let's get on with it. So we've done the dispenser, today we're going to be looking at the note block. This is a note block in an item frame, and this is one down on the ground. Looks pretty boring and well, I don't know, it can be used quite nicely in building, it gives quite a nice texture, but uh, that's not what it's used for. We don't want to use it for building, oh no no no. Uh, but this is how to make one, you need one piece of redstone surrounded by wood. So if you need a lot of these, it is a moderately intensive process in terms of wood, or it can be anyway. Uh, if you have a stack of wood, um, you can only make, uh, I think it's eight of these. Yeah, eight uh, of these note blocks. So, um, you do have to collect a lot of wood if you want a lot of note blocks. Well, that's how to make one. Uh, that's what they look like. Let's see what they do, because they do stuff. And I've got all these weird things set up. Uh, this here, uh, just, uh, just out of interest, this thing behind me down on the floor, this is a redstone clock. What it's doing is it's giving a pulse along this piece of redstone dust. And you can see it pulses on is off and it's switching back and forwards. We'll learn more about clocks later on in the series but for now I just wanted to quickly mention that because we're going to be using one today. So here is a, um, a red, uh, the, 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 the note block. It's a note block isn't it? Uh, this, is, this is a note block. If we power the note block it will make a sound. There you go. You can see whenever the redstone dust is uh, lit and going into the note block, uh, it is making a noise. It's making a piano noise, um, which is made when uh, you, the note block is on dirt. There you are, see? And air. Uh, if we can power one, let's put let's put a hole in the ground and put power into this note. Uh, am I going to be able to do that? I think so. No, we need to move that. Uh, let's put it. Let's put it. Let's put it here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, if we want to put it in air, that one is now on a, on a empty. See that one? That one's gone in as well now. So what the note block is over affects the kind of noise it makes. So over wool, air, dirt, and lots of other blocks. They make that sort of noise. Now, if you have it over wood, so logs and planks, it makes a bass noise. There you go, it's a bassy noise. If you have it over glass blocks or glowstone, it makes a clicky, hi hi noise. Um, oh yeah, you, you can't power it like that, that's the problem. Um, now, this is something to note. I have been powering the block beneath them to power the. Uh, the note block, but you can't do that with glass and redstone and glowstone because they don't transmit the power. So we need to do that. There you are. So there's your clicky noise. There's the clicky noise made by those, uh, and then we have sand and gravel, gravel, which makes the snare noise. Yeah, you can see making a snare noise. And we have rocky type things. Uh, so stone and cobblestone make a bassy noise. So you can change the kind of noise with the block that's under a note block. Now there's something else you can do. Here's I'll go back to our piano. If we right click on our piano, you can see that the sound has changed. Click again and it goes up. Just out of a note, um, <laughs> note. Um, if you right click it, you can see it will make the noise as you click it. It's so you know what you're setting it to. Now this one's on, um, it's on sandstone, so it's making the bassy noise. And you can see it goes up through the different notes and then starts back down at the beginning. So if you go past the note you want, you have to go all the way around to get to what you want. So, that one's now doing a higher one. Let's make it go up a bit. There we go, we've got the little red one coming out. And this one's doing the original one. 
So you can hear we've got two different notes in synchronization then. So you can change the kind of sound that it makes by putting it on something, and you can change the pitch of what it makes by just changing the note. Now I don't know anything about music, so this contraption here isn't going to be beautiful. But let's give it a tr let's give it a try anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some redstone dust. There we go. And we've got what I've got is some note blocks on a variety of different things. So that one's on stone. That one's on stone. That one's on uh, sand. Stone. Stone. Sand. And we've got some wood ones. And we've got some wool ones. More wool. Some various different wools. So these ones on stone, they're going to be they're going to be drummy. Uh, the ones on wood, are they're going to be they're going to be Basey, and the ones on the uh, on the what do you call it? The wool. That's it. The ones on the wool. Uh, they're going to be piano-y. And I've got some of these redstone um, repeaters in between. We'll be learning more about redstone repeaters a little later on uh, in the series. But for now, it allow. Um, I'm just going to say it allows you to transfer the redstone signal along. So, here we go, let's give it a go. We've got one of these clock things here. This one's pulsing away quite nicely. Let's see, what do we get if we connect it up? And as you can see, we kind of get a drummy rhythm from putting those six in a line. And there's our little bass line. So let's see if I can time this right and put some piano into this. Hmm, interesting. I'm just going to have a little play around with it. Well, there we go, folks. That is my little bit of fun uh, with note blocks in this tutorial episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can play around with this particular episode and all the bits in it by downloading the world. And the link to the way you can download the world is in the description of the video. Remember, if you want to see all the other episodes all the way down there that we've been doing in this series, uh, check out the link for the playlist in the description. Uh, if you manage to make a decent piece of music on there then <laughs> feel free to send me a little video via my Facebook page um, but for now we're gonna say goodbye thank you very much for watching uh, if you want to know any thoughts uh, ideas or questions pop them down in the comment section below and if this video has helped you out with the note block uh, please consider give it a like I've been Master Hellish it's been my redstone tutorial series and for now goodbye <laughs>